Hello everyone, today's vlog is on a quick update to the changing the rules on Principal Private Residence Relief, or PPR. So this is the well-known tax break for selling your main residence, your home. Everyone knows that you don't pay any capital gains tax when you sell your main residence. So what has changed from April 2020, a few subtle changes to that rule. Broadly, the exemption is still in place. You sell your main residence, there's no capital gains. However, one of the things that's changing is the final period of exemption. So ever since capital gains tax was introduced in the mid-1960s, there was a rule that says the final period of ownership, regardless of if it was your main residence at the time, will count as being your main residence for the purposes of the PPR relief, that you don't pay capital gains tax. And when it first came in, uh, in the mid-60s, capital gains tax, that PPR exemption window was 12 months, it was subsequently increased to, firstly, to two years, then to three years. Uh, but then, unfortunately, in 2014, it was halved down to 18 months. So, final period of exemption, 18 months. And from this year, from April... 2020, that final period exemption has been halved again to nine months. So you only get a nine month exemption now. This is for a period where, regardless of the use of that property, the last nine months that you own it, even if it wasn't your main residence for the last nine months, it still will be free of capital gains tax for that period for that nine months. So that's um, a worsening of the, of the relief. It's a negative impact for PPR relief. On the flip side, which uh, was also a new announcement, which is coming from April 2020, it was a positive change to the rules. And that is on the period of non-occupation at the start. So when you buy a building, when you buy a, a residence, so buy a property, the new rule says that actually the first 24 months count as occupation even if you don't occupy it. So you may not occupy it because it could be uh, being renovated or being rebuilt or redecorated or altered. So for any of those reasons, for non-occupation where it's not actually being lived in, it will still count for the the clock, the period of time that it is counted as being your principal private residence. So, just to recap, government takes away with one hand, gives with another. Takes away the final period exemption, being half from 18 months to 9 months. But, thankfully, there's this new rule that says the first two years of ownership will deemed to be uh, count towards principal private residence as your main residence, even if you are not living in the property for those two years because you're doing it up or whatever. So that is uh, changes to capital gains tax on main residence relief from April 2020. If you like this video, please do subscribe and I will see you soon.